Let's go into our news of the week, which is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. You can find them in person at 114th and Davenport Street. And the reason you want to find them is to get a loan for your piece of the American dream. It's summer, as you know. A lot of people are out there busily looking for new houses. Uh, They're thinking about moving. Maybe they're not 100% committed to moving, but they're thinking about moving. If that is you, go ahead and make an appointment with Holly Schneiderwind or one of her team members at Eagle Mortgage. They'll talk with you, figure out what your home buying goals are. They shop the market. They're not a bank. They work with banks. They broker banks and borrowers. And so they can shop from a variety of different banks, find the best lending option for you, match you up. Doesn't matter whether you're going conventional, FHA, VA, some of the specialty loans. They do all of that. And they'll take great care of you. You can find them at eaglemortgagecompany.com. Well, Trenton, looking at the news, uh, the University of Nebraska Medical Center continues to make progress on the development of their Saddle Creek campus. This is the the new campus that is west of Saddle Creek Road. And um, if you haven't driven by lately, a lot of road construction going on in that area. If you're commuting, that's kind of an inconvenience, but it's exciting if you care about Omaha growth and development because they're improving traffic flow for the Catalyst project, which is coming along nicely. The Catalyst is the, uh, the project that will be in the former Omaha Steelworks factory. And uh, the Omaha Planning Board approved the final plat and rezoning for the Western Campus expansion around that new Catalyst project. Uh, and, and everything is coming along great. The Catalyst is on track for an early 2025 opening. And then also the administration and research building known as CORE uh, will start to go vertical this fall. It is right immediately on the southwest corner of Farnham Street and Saddle Creek Road. Also, an undisclosed private developer is considering building approximately 250 apartment units wrapped around a future parking garage. That Med Center West Saddle Creek campus is absolutely blowing up. It's amazing to watch Nebraska Medicine just expand and expand and all the the complementary development around it. And you said a parking garage inside of an apartment complex. You know, for many years, Jeff, on the show, we've talked about pedestal where you'd have parking on three levels or whatever, and then you'd have apartments above. Now, if you look at Broadmoor's development out on um, the old Boys Town property, Hartwood Preserve, you see this giant concrete structure and everybody didn't know what it was, a jail or whatever, but it's really the parking garage insulated inside and wrapped around apartments. Well, the city council this week approved uh, Mayor Stothert's appointed board members for the new Omaha Inland Port Authority. Uh, This authority is created and regulated by state law and was initially introduced by Omaha Senator Justin Wayne. This new Port Authority board is authorized to procure and assemble property for development into what we call shovel-ready industrial sites within designated areas. Uh, The district has boundaries defined by certain in proximity to waterways, highways, and airports. Uh, the Omaha Inland Port Authority is located in North Omaha, appropriately just west of uh, Epley Airfield, uh, just kind of on the north side of Carter Lake. Good place for it. Exciting uh, project. It's not without controversy, but an exciting project because it should bring a heck of a lot of industrial and maybe other types of development to North Omaha. I was glad to see our friend and, and collaborator, Mike Reedman, a chairman or a president emeritus of uh, NP Dodge Residential Sales. He is one of the appointed board members with lots of experience. Yeah, and you know... The, the, we, we had, um, excuse me, we had Omaha, uh, Greater Omaha Chamber Executive Heath Mello on the show last week, and he was talking about how challenging it is to get nice-sized, large industrial land to develop new industrial buildings inside the city of Omaha. This does that. And, and if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. Parts of the city of Omaha have been around since you know, the 1860s or whatever. And so it, it, it's, it's hard just to clear a bunch of land to build distribution centers and factories. This inland port makes that more possible. And we need that. We need to keep bringing in good jobs into the heart of the city. No question about it. If, if you get a chance, go to gromha.com and look at last week's show with Heath Mello interview. He covers a lot of territory.
Well, Food Bank of the Heartland officially announced its relocation from its current location at 105th and J Street to a 12-acre site on the northeast corner of 84th and L. This is the old H&H Chevrolet dealership where they were located for many years before they moved out to Steel Ridge near Highway 370 and Interstate 80. At any rate, this new Omaha Food Bank building at 84th and Dodge is going to be a $37 million project, and it's going to require the demolition of the old H&H Chevrolet buildings and then uh, the construction of a 105,000-square-foot facility. Move-in should happen sometime in 2026. Um, Aside from the good that uh, the food bank does, the very necessary service it, it, it does these days, if you look at the rendering, this is a cool warehouse building. We're talking high ceiling and everything. You can drive by now, and they're demolishing a few of the buildings. I think the big building hasn't started yet, but there's some smaller ones on site. That is a really nice site. I was surprised that they bought it, but it's it's a heck of a location, and uh, everybody needs to be fed. Yeah, and the uh, groundbreaking for that took place just within uh, the last week, and uh, while, while reading uh, some of the notes about the groundbreaking, I didn't realize that the Omaha Food Bank uh, provides services all the way out to the Wyoming border. Wow. I mean, all of Nebraska, except for a few counties around Lincoln. Other than that, um, the Omaha Food Bank, even a bunch of counties in, in western Iowa up toward, uh, up toward Sioux City area. So it's a big, big operation. Well, the city of Omaha and the Omaha Performing Arts Society are jointly applying for state assistance through turnback taxes under that Sports Arena Facility Financing Assistance Act. So you think, hmm, Omaha Performing Arts Sports Arena? Well, hear me out. Under the act, a municipality can apply for state funds garnered from state sales taxes collected by retailers within 600 yards of a qualified facility. In the application, the qualified facility is the recently constructed Steelhouse Omaha. The requested turn back will help fund the promotion of the arts and cultural events in the city. Makes sense to me. And there are, because of the Capital District, a lot of retail facilities within 600 yards of the Steelhouse. You're going to see a lot of projects chasing that same... uh incentive uh, it will be it, it will indeed be interesting to see and that ladies and gentlemen is your news of the week the grow omaha development news of the week that is brought to you by eagle mortgage eaglemortgagecompany.com if you like this video be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and remember grow omaha is not just media this is a mission We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.